You be sad all winter. Me too. I do be sad in the winter time. If Jeremiah wasn't qualified for a check after the conversation that he had today with this motherfucker worker, he for sure qualified. Nah, he was saying some shit. I didn't even know what the fuck he was going through. <laughs> like, God damn, we looking at somebody looking at his ass like, what? You know, Are you trolling us, Jeremiah? They're like, no, for real. I said, well, if he ain't getting the check, he for sure getting one. Nah, God damn. They might put him on a motherfucker attempt to homicide list. God damn. He's laughing all type of shit. Man, Samaya was by, but. He was saying that type of crazy shit. <laughs> what he did? Girl, he started saying all type of shit. I'm like, for sure my son getting the check. That's not even what the fuck I was going for. I was going for because... I just want him to get counseling, but shit, we done got deep. We done, we just, we in, we need deep fucking past counseling at this motherfucking point. Shit, we need to talk to some proper psychiatrists. Fuck all of that. He need one of them motherfucking psychiatrists to pull out cards and ask him what he look at, what it, what he think this is and shit. Like, shit, he was saying. God damn, man, somebody in the car looking like what the fuck, Jeremiah. <laughs> Is you troubling us? You gotta stop playing so motherfucking much. Cause when the fuck did this happen? When you start feeling like this? I'm good. I'm good. We like when you start feeling like this. Hold on. I'm not going outside to uh smoke. You not gonna eat? Not right now. Well, your food's gonna come right. This is this boy food right here. Okay. Wait a minute. Stop. Don't do that. Stay right there for a minute. Cause you need to clean your mess up. This is this boy food right here. This is nasty food right here. They don't want it. They are not. They hate there. Okay, you don't want it. Just put it in the refrigerator. They don't get it. Get to eat it later. I'll probably eat it tomorrow. Yeah, you don't get to eat it later. And then you got that food in the microwave. You ain't finna eat that. So I know. Yeah, no point to keep on cooking every day. They're not eating it because they've been eating snacks all day. That's probably what it is. Okay, Jamma, you need to get up for real. And get this table cleaned off. Jamma, need to get up. Get up. The baby's the baby's sleep. Okay, honey. I, I'm gonna take out this garbage when I come back in here. And then we're gonna work on we're gonna work on some more stuff tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, Miriam. You go. Don't let tomorrow be the other tomorrow. It ain't gonna be the other tomorrow. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. You just gotta tell me where you wanna put the stuff. Where the stuff at? Okay. Huh? What? It's only a little bit, but come on. It's only a little bit, but come on. Let's talk about some tomorrow. And tomorrow will never come. But we got to go to the car, y'all. No, you're not you. Not you. No, sit in here and watch the phone. Mommy going to the car. Don't start that crying. You can't be in the car with me while I'm smoking. Cry, baby. I feel accomplished today. I washed all the clothes in the house. I said, I went to my house and I um got all that trash and shit. That was hey, what up? I need a oh, never mind. I got one. You got lucky. I got all that damn trash out of my car. I'm out my yard now. I gotta blow it, and I'm really fucking stressed out about the shit because um, it may be hard for me to move, y'all. 
we just got done fucking moving that shit is stressful moving but my kids deserve a living room and a motherfucking dining room. We used to having a living room and a dining room. That house that we live in now only got a fucking living room. And it's small as hell in there. So I just called my um Hold on, get this. Welcome to Angelic Soul Live with some things in live. Tonight it's about 7.05 Eastern Time. I'm in Detroit on the east side. Um, I had a very busy day today and I've got a couple of updates. Are you guys ready? Okay. Um, so anybody who, any, who, anybody who's anybody know that I'm trying to move. I have an agency that reached out to me that is now officially helping me move because I'm not in the lease. Um, I don't, all I have to do is do a 30 day notice. The thing with my section eight is... Once I ask them for an updated voucher, they're going to give me a moving packet. And, oh, it's 606 there. It's 706 here. Then I have 30 days to move. If I don't move within 30 days, then um, I could lose my voucher or and I will have to probably pay rent. And some occasions they do give you another extension for another 30 days but most likely you got 30 days to move or you lose your voucher um that's how you lost yours see yeah it's very tricky no one extension so because i have a i don't have an eviction on my house I have a, um, my house got messed up when I was in Taylor, when I first got my section eight, people don't know what the fuck they talk about. People be sucking dick too much. That's why they don't, they didn't, that's why they be running their mouth so much. They always got their motherfucking mouth open because they don't know what the fuck they talking about. Just because I got my section eight from domestic violence does not mean I have a domestic violence fucking um, voucher. You dumb, stupid asshole. That's not how section eight work. You dumb bitch. Okay, that's number one. Just because I have a Section Eight voucher does not mean I have there ain't no ain't no motherfucking Section Eight domestic violence voucher. People are so dumb. People are so dumb. That's a, that's a Section Eight domestic violence voucher. You cannot have your offender in your house. That's a fucking lie. People don't know what the fuck they talk about. Anyways, uh, so basically I got Patrick when I was in Taylor, Patrick wound up kicking some holes in my fucking wall, um, and shit. So they gave me a judgment when I moved to Romulus because I stayed down river. Like I just came back to Detroit. I've been back in Detroit for like five years now. But I stayed down river for like four years. So a bitch talk about some Hopper Woods, bitch, I stayed in fucking the suburbs. The fuck? For a long time, I was a fucking receptionist at a spa, bitch. Talk about some, I stayed, I done threw away a thousand fucking bed sets. You know what I mean? Fuck, I done been on my own since I was 17. I done threw away a thousand couches. Shit, with kids, you got to keep on buying shit. I done threw away a thousand TVs, a thousand phones. People always trying to brag about little shit that they got. Cause they ain't never have shit. But anyways, uh, so I got a judgment. So she said it may be a little bit harder, but she said she's gonna reach out to a couple of people. So my voucher had went up because I got the twins. So now I got a five-bedroom voucher. But it doesn't matter if it's a five-bedroom, six-bedroom, seven-bedroom, or eight-bedroom. As long as it's not over $2,060, I can live there. And they got Section 8. So that's my rent amount. My rent could be $2,000 a month. And my Section 8 going to pay majority of it and I pay 30% of it. That's how that goes. The more income I get, the more income I make, the more rent I pay. 
So if I would start working, my rent would go up. So I said, I'm not about to fucking, to please a bitch old ego. Go work at a fucking Sonic or go work at a nowhere. I'm not about to go work nowhere where I'm not, I don't have a career at. Just so I could pay extra rent. That shit is dumb. And struggle and still got to pay fucking daycare fees and gas and all that shit. Bitch, you could suck a dick sideways. I'm going to wait till I finish my GED and get an actual career where I know I'm going to be making five bands a month. Because I would be dumb as fuck to get off my social security to only make $2,000. That's dumb. That's dumb to get off social security just to make two bands. And that shit. And then once you get off social security, I still will have section eight, but I still got to pay 30% of my income. So that shit's still going to add up. So sideways is the best way. Shut the fuck up. Sideways do be the best way. I, I don't suck dick no more. But what I used to suck dick, sideways was definitely the best way. But we're not talking about that. Can we focus on the fucking topic at hand? Damn. Y'all always talk about some shit that don't matter right now. We're not talking about that. We trying to talk about, okay, the real nigga shit that I'm facing. So what I'm trying to tell y'all is, that God damn, it do go deeper sideways, but focus. I'm trying to tell y'all that they don't cover moving. So I still got to get a moving van and I still got to pay people to move my shit. That's number one. Number two... Who about to take that big ass TV off the wall I just put up there with Cooper? That's number two. And how the fuck is I about to safely move it? That's number three. Number four, hey vibes. When I usually move, I don't ever professionally move my shit. So I had to tell you, we have a lot of garbage bags and a couple of boxes. And some containers and a lot of garbage bags and a couple of boxes. I don't be, put, I don't be putting bubble wrap around my shit. So now I done got blessed with this Benz and now I got to put bubble wrap around my shit. That's extra bubble wrap. That's extra dollars. Girl, you know how many times, you know how many boxes we done had? I said, fuck that. How many boxes do I need? Because then the boxes start fucking ripping up and breaking and should be irritating. Because I want a bigger space. That's why I move it. I want a bigger house. It, is, it just don't make no sense to put up no big ass 14 foot trampoline at this house. And then have to take it down. I fuck around and leave that bitch. Who about the, you know how hard it was to put up me and Cooper and the kids put up a 14 foot trampoline. And that bitch is as big as a 14 foot trampoline. A 14 foot that bitch is was big i'm talking about big you know how hard that was to put that up so who about to go outside and get the get the the damn wrench and unscrew all that shit not me so i'll be thinking about that stuff when i'm settling in like do i want to move right now before i put up trampolines because that's about to be irritating And plus, I want a better space. I want a bigger space for my kids. I feel like the house that I'm living at is small. I feel like I want a, a second bathroom. And even if I can't get a second bathroom, bathroom because of my credit and stuff like that. Or because I got a judgment on my stuff. And I got to settle for something different. I still <coughs> want a bigger space. <coughs> I've, been, I, I've been looking up some spaces with my voucher amount that I know my voucher amount. And I done seen a lot of spaces that got bigger backyards than I got. That got actual grass in the fucking backyard. Instead of the fucking pile of dirt I got back here, back there in my shit right now. And then I got a big ass living room. It got wood floors. I don't have to deal with no fucking carpet. Like, who want to deal with carpet? That shit is unsanitary. Anyway. I don't like I don't like houses that got the floor stained, that little dark brown stain. No, because I don't live in a house like that. And them stains that the, when they stain the floor, they don't stain it correctly. They just paint. Seem like they paint the shit, and then put. Well, I don't know what the fuck they do, but it don't be good. It was like it was it was it would be all scrapped up. 
So I don't do this a thousand times. When you're looking for a place, you want to make sure that you check the perimeter of the place. See, in this place that I got, that I'm living in, I just jumped in this place. You get what I'm saying? I had to hurry up and move. I was pregnant. I had COVID. I was high risk. Like, it was a lot going on. So, yeah, we and my kids need something like a, we and my children need like a hardwood floor. We need a big backyard so we can plant vegetables. We need, you know what I'm saying? They had to come where we was at. They did, they did that the backyard. So, we back there with all bunch of, a whole bunch of what the fuck is dirt right now. And, um, we back there with a whole bunch of dirt. And when we go, when we back there swimming and shit, all that water and dirt, and I was muddy. It's not classy. Especially when I got the gazebo and the plants and the motherfucking speaker and shit back there. Like, it don't have no outside uh, plug, so I got to run plugs to the motherfucking window or the side door. That's not classy, y'all. A thousand plugs running from here and here. That's not classy. I like to have my backyard nice as fuck in the back. I don't want my kids to have the best. I want them to have a motherfucking playroom in the house outside. I want them to have a pool, a motherfucking big ass, um, 14 foot trampoline with the motherfucking, um, basketball hoop that we used to get in and like, we done had a pool for, like, the last four years, and I want to keep it up. We done had a trampoline, and we ain't have it last year, so I want to get them this year. And, like, no. We got fucking motorcycles back there, bikes. They broke their hoverboards. They would have had hoverboards, too. That shit's stressful. It's moving it. Then we got to clean up all that fucking hay. We got to clean up the garage. And my whole thing is, I didn't get charged no security deposit. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all listening to me? Please, I need the smart people to come forward. Villagers, are y'all listening? Is anybody listening? Or am talking to myself. Okay. As I was saying, I just moved to that house. So you know I had to put holes in the motherfucking wall to put up the TV and paintings and stuff like that now if you live in the house more than like a year or two they won't charge you but if you just move there and it's been less than a year when you're moving they gonna charge me i didn't get i didn't i didn't get no social no security i didn't pay no security deposit so they're gonna be charging me for every motherfucking little thing and they can't but it, it wouldn't be wear and tear that's what i'm saying it usually would be like wear and tear but it won't be wear and tear now because it's been less than a year that I moved in there. See, I'm smart. I know my law. So they could hit me. They could try to charge me the motherfucking move. Now, y'all know. Did y'all see that big ass hole Samaya put in the wall? Her playing with Jeremiah? It's a big ass body hole. Like a fucking hole big as a body. In the fucking wall upstairs. I mean, God damn. Yeah, you see now. Nah. So if I move, they're going to probably try to hit me with a close to $1,000 in damages. How much you want to bet? They're going to be trying to do that. You know we beefing already. They're going to be like, well, technically, this not wear and tear. This not wear and tear. This not wear and tear. I'm about to file some tax taxes. Fuck it. I'm about to see if I'm going to get something back. At least I can see I get something. God damn. I got, I want to follow just to see if I get something. Shit. I don't even know. But I can't file though. I can't file. I can file for my rent. I can file for my rent. I can't do it. I can't do I can't do unemployment. I got social security. Not unemployment. I can't do um self employment. I can't do self employment. I did that last time and I had to pay back sixteen thousand dollars. I can't do it. I can't do it. I already learned my lesson. Fuck that. Mm mm. Yeah. I already did that dumb shit. And lost my social security. <sighs> yeah, I can get I can get um a state check for my rent. I 
I'm not going back to stripping, no. Are you stupid? Yeah, that was disrespectful. Nah, I'm good. I'm not letting nobody find my children. It's not happening. But what I want to say is, that's what I'm going through, and that's what I'm dealing with. We're moving. And not only that, they don't um have with the moving truck or the moving. So I think I can probably look up some agencies in my back pocket that could probably help me with the moving fee. Oh, yeah. I could apply for a sir. I could apply for a sir. At SCR, and they help with moving expenses. And I think it's another agency, too. For real. For real. I need the motherfucking help. I need to get to a bigger house. That would be so nice if I can just go into my dining room, be big as fuck in my dining room, be big. And I can have my table in there and stuff like that. And you can actually have space. You get what I'm saying? Like the table, it's like a little, it's, it is a nook table. It is a nook table. But if I put that table that I got in the middle of a dining room, of a big dining room, I could have other areas like like the another little small table over there so they could play with. I could I could put a motherfucking a chalkboard in there. Matthew can ride his stuff around the house. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could have my living room area and they room don't want be in the basement. That's another thing. They won't, they won't want to be in the basement so I can actually be downstairs in my living room while I'm telling them or upstairs and I'm telling them, go to bed. Like, I don't have to go down the basement with them so they, or be downstairs until they fall asleep to all the way in the basement. Like, that shit is irritating. But it's going to be irritating trying to move all that shit, though. It's going to be irritating when I got to... Um, I haven't seen Key. I haven't seen Key. I hope she okay. Um. I know, I know that Yahoo are gonna bless me, but it's just very stressful to move i don't like fucking moving do you understand i just moved there last year i don't live there i just moved there less than fucking 10 months ago or i haven't been 10 months yeah next no actually it is almost been a year it's almost i haven't even made it officially a year it's 11 months like god damn that shit was stressful as fuck moving that shit up in the house then you got to put everything where it go then you got to put everything where it go and that take days maybe weeks i be up all night just to get it over with my body be tired then the twins gonna be crying then i still gotta do dinner and i sometimes like i don't even do dinner sometimes i just go get something to eat like i can't afford this but i just gotta get them something to eat because my energy level is done. I ain't no way I'm about to cook dinner. It's just too much. It's too fucking much. Like, then I'm doing it by myself, me and my kids in the middle of a school year. Like, that's another motherfucking thing. Because if I move to the West, then, um, gotta transfer schools. Gotta get shop records and health appraisals and all of this dumb shit. Like, I'm just, like, this is the only opportunity probably at this moment where I'm getting assistance moving. Where they're going to at least pay my social, my security deposit because I ain't got that because all the places is, some, some ask for no security deposit, but they ask for no security deposit for a reason. But the ones that's really got a nice, you know what I'm saying, little hookup, something a little decent, better than what the fuck I got, I ain't got to have perfect. I just want a little bit better. <laughs> that's it i'm humble as fuck like i'm gonna get my house i'm about to get i'm getting my shit together mm. 
People asking me if I'm about to go to work. I got other shit I'm dealing with. You talk about something going back to work. I'm just, I'm trying to finish my the school. I'm trying to see how I'm going. And then when I do go home, I got to probably switch to providers. And then I'm going to have to take the twins to motherfucking daycare. Back doing that. That is so hard. When I was living that life, working every fucking day, dropping these twins off, dropping, not t- dropping my kids off at daycare. All of my kids went to daycare. Because I used to work. And that shit used to be irritating. And the most irritating about it when it's there when they're their fucking babies. They're it actually be irritating all the way up to the point of fucking to their potty train. Because you gotta bring extra clothes. They wanna make all the bottles first, label them, write this. I'm like, okay, I don't, don't wanna forget nothing. Okay. Diapers, plates. <laughs> like and I got twins, so they're gonna need double every fucking thing. So for me, I'm doing it the easiest way that I can do, but the energy and momentum that I have in my body to do it, because I'm only one motherfucking person. And if you feel like you could do better, that's good for you. Thank Yahoo for giving your ass the strength and the encouragement and the will to do it. But for me, I can only do so motherfucking much before I can't do shit. That's how I feel. And I've been working my ass off. Okay, I was. I mean, I had to screw, unscrew all of this stuff. It was just so irritating. Break down all of them motherfucking beds. My my kids had bunk beds. Samaya so had a bunk bed when before we moved to this house. The boys and it was two bunk beds. The boys had in their room. Samaya so had her own room. That shit was stressful. Taking all them wood pieces out there. No, she want me. Charger. Here I come. I just want to smoke this cigarette. You got another charger in the house? I don't know. It should be in there. Where? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I look for it. Okay. <sighs> it's not even about the schedule. It's about doing all the other shit that I got to do. It's about that. It's about I still got to work on my fucking credit. And yes, I still got to get on the system and the plan and the schedule. And I still got to be like a fucking drill charging with these boys because they need a foot on their neck every fucking day. You got to be like a drill charger. Like you got to be really like, go under this or I'm going to get you. Like you got to be like, <laughs> For real with these boys. Who wanna be at the water park? Ah! No. Stop. Oh. Um, I you said, what did you do with the pills that was on the table? What piece? Pills. They all in the cabinet above the stove. Okay, the cabinet above the stove. Garages, that's garden and ripe furniture. All this shit's to you. Everything that y'all see in the house is new. Okay? It's not even... It's probably six... What? I got it in October. So all this shit that y'all see in the house, the house was completely empty. I didn't... My daughter didn't have... She didn't come with beds. My kids didn't come with beds. It was no furniture. Not a lick of furniture. It wasn't no kitchen table. I had to get mattresses for my kids. All of that. <clears throat> all them toys. My kids haven't had toys in years. I stopped buying them because they was breaking them. We didn't celebrate Christmas, so I'm like, they haven't really had no toys. All I had was a game. I had always kept an Xbox or a PlayStation, and that's all they had for like the last four years. They haven't had no toys. So I said, I was going to get them some toys. So I started going to the Goodwill, getting toys, and started stacking up on stuff. Then I got extra stuff when I got money from those taxes, and... For the dumb motherfuckers that keep asking me about this text money last year. I'm sorry that you didn't quit, um, um, fit the qualifications of having multiple children that you guys so worried about. Stressing me the fuck about my own shit. Now 
that every Trump gave everybody with children tax credit. Everybody that was on low income. Everybody. You didn't know that last year he did that? You dummies. <laughs> so I said, well, shit, they gave me this little child tax credit. They said they gave us half. They first they gave us stimulus. They gave us, they was giving it to everybody. Cooper dumbass filed um, a Matthew, so his dumbass was getting it. And he said publicly on the news, you get the other half in taxes, whatever, when we stop. So they stopped the payments. What was that? In September. And then I filed the rest. And then I ended up with nine bands. The fuck? So, because <clears throat> they was giving like 1,200 each kid. So, goddamn, 1,200 times what? <laughs> Five at the time? Plus the little shit I was doing. Like, I missed them stimmies too. I was living my best life off that shit. I done took the kids to another state on a vacation with that shit. And then spent the block and went again by myself with me and Cooper. That was so crazy. I was fooling off that shit. I was fooling. But you know what I did do? I did get me those oils. And I sold those oils fresh. I was out there in the ones like... I sold those oils, and I got the clothes, and I brought the dogs, and I brought the t-shirt maker. So I did invest. Me taking my kids to a trip was an investment. That was an investment to me. Um, I got a couple of bikes and took my kids to a whole bunch of hotel rooms and stuff like that for the swimming and shit. I did it a couple of times. Um, then I had got married, so then I was going on, like, a little pre-honeymoon to the Renaissance at the Marriott on, like, the 64th floor and shit, and then <laughs> we went to, like, a couple of nice, you know, hotels downtown and shit, like the Whitney and stuff like that, and then, um, what else I do? Um, you know, that was it. Bought the kids some clothes. Oh, I got a couple of bikes. Couple, I got a couple of bikes. One of those bikes they stole. Got some furniture. Kids messed it up. Got some more furniture. Like, God damn. They were just tearing up shit. They was just tearing up shit. I done changed my I changed my living room around like five times. First I had like some full time, some office full time. The decoration was free. Then I changed it to another decoration because they messed up the full time. The legs broke. So I got a sectional off Amazon. Don't never do that. Don't never do that. Don't never get a sectional off Amazon. <laughs> I paid like seven hundred for that. They broke that down. Dog to all the cushions out. It was just broken in half. Then I had to get some leather furniture that lasted for a while, but I couldn't take it with me because it broke all the way down. So then, then I had to get some more furniture. I'm telling you, you gotta keep getting furniture when you got your like. Oh yeah. <sighs> now I'm in a situation. Then I had end up pregnant. That's when everything was to stop. Don't can't touch this. Like everything is on pause. Well, I I was still smart enough to move. I'm like I've been at this house for four years. You know, if you've been in the house for four years, your kids grow up there. I was in there painting. I had to repaint it a couple of times. I was in there washing walls. You know, you gotta upkeep it. The stuff was falling apart. Had to fix it. Um. Yeah. So it's the wear and tear. That's why I said I wasn't I'm not ready for my kids. I wasn't ready for me to get a house because oh, God, it's, the it's the wear and tear. It's the wear and tear that you gotta worry about when you got kids and you own the house. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. You can pick up TTS. Now, what happened to this other spoon? Go into the car and get that. It's always something to do. For real. It's always something to do. Like. This is what I've been doing in my house working. And I still gotta go to my house and. Um, do all those clothes. You know what I mean? I need a first time home owners.